Speaker on behalf of the EFDD is the Earl of Dartmouth. You have the floor, sir. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Now, there may be, there may be some of us here who are familiar with the song Hotel California by the Eagles. And this contains the line, you can check out any time you like, but you can never leave. Well, the Eurozone is rather like that. Whatever the pain, Whatever the anguish, whatever the hardship, whatever the austerity imposed on the Greek people, Greece is never going to be permitted to leave the Eurozone. But the inconvenient truth is that Greece is wholly unable to pay its debts. Whatever the IMF may or may not say, whatever the posturing of the Commission and the Council, which sadly we've just heard earlier on, Greece panel pay its debts. And what should happen is that the lenders must admit and accept that the money that they've lent to Greece simply will not be paid back. In consequence, the lenders must forgive some or all of these loans. But unfortunately, there's absolutely no sign of this happening. Now, it's not often that I agree with a Marxist. However, the Marxist Greek former finance minister was correct on the loans to Greece. First of all, what, not one cent of one euro in the bailing, bailout packages went to the Greek people. The money all went to the lenders. And secondly, the Troika were playing, are playing, a game, a comedy, a masquerade with the Greek government and the Greek people, but this time very much re for real. The game with the loan negotiations was to, quote, extend and pretend. That is to say, the loans were extended, but the, pretend, the, prete the pretense was that they could ever be paid back. Now, Greece has defaulted on its debts at least seven times since it became an independent country. When lenders lend to Greece, they cannot expect their loans to be bailed out as of right, and certainly not at the expense of the well-being of the Greek people and the Greek economy. So I now say to the Commission, to Mr Juncker, to Mr Verhofstadt, and to Mr Verhofstadt's groupies, of whom there are all too many in this Parliament, and to restate William Jennings Bryan's famous cross of gold speech. You shall not press down upon the Greek people this crown of thorns. You shall not crucify them upon the cross of the euro. Thank you very much.